hey guys welcome back to my channel if this is your first time joining me you're highly highly welcome please like subscribe share and don't forget to turn on the notification bell to get notified whenever i post a new video thanks in advance so today guys i'm checking out was jesus crucified oh by dr zakir nayek please don't mind my pronunciation okay you can correct me in the comment section below appreciation and advance guys i'm a christian and when i saw this topic i was like oh man all my life um what i've been told is that jesus died and he resurrected after three days so when i saw this i have interest you know to check it out i can't wait to arrive and see what this is all about without further ado let's get right into it are you ready because i am ready how can i prove that jesus was not crucified then how can i prove that jesus wasn't crucified peace be upon him the Quran says in Surah Nisa, chapter 4, 157, they killed him not, neither did they crucify him, it was only made to appear so. So Quran is clear, Wama katalu, wama salabu. they killed him not, neither did they crucify him. If I have to prove to, are you a Christian brother? I am. If you read the Bible, it's mentioned in the Bible in the Gospel of Matthew, chapter number 12, verse number 38, when people come to Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, and tell him that, oh master, show us some signs. So Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, replies, Ye evil and adulterous generation, seek it thee after a sign. No sign shall be shown to you except the sign of Jonah. For as Jonah was three days and three nights in the belly of the fish, so shall the Son of Man be three days and three nights in the heart of the earth. Brother, do you know the story of Jonah? Yeah. Jonah, Jonah. I do. Do you know? Now, Almighty God tells Jonah that go to Nineveh. Jonah being a prophet of God, he says the people of Nineveh, they will not understand, they will not listen to me. He goes to Joppa. It uses going to Nineveh. So while he's going in the ship, in a boat to Joppa, there's a storm that comes into the sea. This is mentioned in the book of Jonah. Book of Jonah, less than two pages. At that time, there was a superstition that the storm in the sea is due to some person not obeying the commandment of the master. So Jonah being a prophet of God, he volunteers. I'm the one who is disobeying my master. And at that time, it was a superstition that if you throw the person in the water, the water will become calm. So Jonah volunteers. I am disobeying my master, throw me overboard. I am asking you the question, when Jonah was thrown overboard, was he dead or alive? Alive. Jonah, when he was thrown overboard into the sea, when the storm comes, was Jonah dead or alive? He was alive. Was he alive. alive? Alive. Very good. When a person is thrown in the sea, where there is a storm, a person ought to die. Was Jonah dead or alive when he was thrown in the sea? Alive. He was alive. Alive. If he dies, no miracle. A storm, a normal person dies. He's alive. It's a miracle. A fish comes and gobbles him up. A fish comes and swallows him up. Yeah. When the fish swallows him up, was Jonah dead or alive? Alive. 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 Three days and three nights, the fish takes him around the sea. In the belly of the fish for three days and three nights, Jonah prays to Almighty God. While he was in the belly of the fish, was Jonah dead or alive? Alive. Alive. Alive, alive, alive. The fish vomits him out. Jonah comes onto the shore. Was he dead or alive? Alive. 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 Alive, 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 alive. Miracle of a miracle of a miracle of a miracle. I am asking you the question, when Jesus Christ peace be upon him, according to the Bible, when he was taken down from the cross, he was put in the grave, in the sepulchre. In the sepulcher, was Jesus dead or alive? Was dead. Uh, dead. Dead. Jesus was dead, yeah. If he's dead, does he fulfill the sign or not? But he was raised to back. In the sepulcher, in the grave, was he dead what? or alive? Dead. Was dead. Dead or alive? Dead. dead. If he was dead, is he fulfilling the prophecy? Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, said, No sign shall be given to you except the sign of Jonah. For as Jonah was three days and three nights in the belly of the fish, so shall the Son of Man be three days and three nights in the heart of the earth. If oh Jonah was alive, for Jesus Christ to fulfill the prophecy, peace be upon him, he should be dead or alive? He should be alive. Dead or alive, he should be. Oh he should be alive. He should God. be alive and he was alive. Why do you say he was dead? Are you trying to say that Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, lied? If you say he was dead, that means you are saying Jesus was a liar, Nausbillah. 
That means Jesus was alive. What has been told to you by the church is wrong. Do you believe in the church or do you believe in Jesus Christ? Peace be upon him. But the Bible says Jesus was yeah. dead. Where does it say? Give me the reference. I'm not a, not that much known. By but do you mind. know the sign of Jonah? Yes or no? Yeah. Was Jonah dead or alive in the belly of the fish? He was alive. So Jesus Christ has to be dead or alive in the earth. Why it is not mentioned in the Bible that he was alive in the... It is mentioned. Where does it say he was dead? It was assumed. The Roman soldiers thought he was dead. They poked a spear. They poked a spear, but he was alive. So if you see my video cassette, Was Christ Crucified? There are umpteen numbers of proofs. I gave you one proof. Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, did not say that, you know, I gave life to the dead, therefore I am a man of God. He put all his eggs in one basket. As Jonah was dead or alive, you are saying Jonah was alive, peace be upon him. So Jesus also, peace be upon him, has to be alive. Why do you say he's dead? Just because the priest told you. So do you believe more in the priest or do you believe in the Bible? I believe in the Bible. Do you believe in Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, or the priest? I do believe in Jesus. So Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, said, As Jonah was in the belly of the fish, so shall the Son of Man be in the heart of the earth. Oh. So Jonah was dead or alive? Oh, Jonah was alive. Okay. So Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, has to be dead or alive? Alive. So the Bible still says he was dead and he raised back to life. Oh. Where does the Bible say? I have to find it. But what I am telling you, Gospel of Matthew, chapter number 12, verse number 38. You know the sign of Jonah, no? I do. That time you are dead or alive? Alive. So when you know the sign of Jonah and you don't know where it is said he's dead, you have to follow what is in red letter. There are many things which are mentioned by Paul, which is not part of the sayings of Jesus Christ, peace be upon him. If you know there is something like a red letter Bible. Red letter Bible means whatever Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, said is in red ink. If you quote me something in black ink, I will not believe. Why? That is not the word of Jesus Christ, peace be upon him. Do you give more preference to Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, or St. Paul? Jesus Christ. What I'm quoting to you is in red. Gospel of Matthew, note it down. Gospel of Matthew, chapter number 12, verse number 38. So don't get me a quotation of backing. To prove this wrong, you have to get me a quotation in red ink. That's what Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, said. I request you to go home, read the Bible, and when you're convinced, inshallah, come to the truth. Thank you. Oh, wow. wow guys this is really convincing his point was very clear and understood oh my god how come i don't know about all of this till now you know it's a good thing that um you know i came across this yeah yeah i think i should recommend i mean i should um thank you my recommender I want to appreciate you for making me say this. If not, oh, I wouldn't have set my eyes on this. I really appreciate. Oh, wow. All my life, guys. All my life. I've never come across this. I've been taught that Jesus died on the cross of Calvary and he resurrected after three days. That's what I've been hearing all my life. But, well, this is so convincing. This is really convincing, but I'm a little bit confused. I'm confused because you hear this from this religion, that from the other religion, and another, oh my God, where? Which way? Which way, guys? Which way? Oh my God, oh my God. Seriously, I do not know where to lay my head right now because the death of Jesus and the resurrection of Jesus it's convincing while the Jesus never died. It's also convincing. Oh my God. Which way? Really, guys, I'm, 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 I'm confused. I'm really confused. So I will appreciate if you drop your point in the comment section below. If you have, you know, more points to, you know, elaborate for me to understand better, you can drop it in the comment section below. I will go through it and, you know, decide on really what I should go with. Because right now, the least I have to say is that I feel spiritually Jesus never died, but humanly Jesus died. Because I was thinking about this was this last two weeks. Yeah, last two weeks, guys, the thought just came to my head. And this is what I arrived 
on jesus can never die if jesus is god then how how would god die how would god die because christianity you know believe i don't know some part of them say jesus is god some part say jesus is the son of god i don't know i don't know i don't know i'm a christian but it's a little bit complicated for me yes i've been trying to like check out you know proofs to see which to go with and i don't know guys but plus this again guys is confusing spiritually he never died and he can never die yes and truly, Jesus said that the sign of Jonah, that so shall it happen to, you know, the son of man. So the son of man is talking about, was it him? Huh? Was it him? Oh my God. I think I would have to invite a guest so we can come and watch this again with proof really because i do not really know that this video is going to be like this but really guys i'm really confused elaborate more in the comment section below as you can see how i'm even i'm talking like my body is shaking as i'm talking to you. i'm just trying to be strong here yes guys this is really really you know it's good that i got to see this it is very good and i will call someone here you know i'll call a guest so we could check this out again guys really guys really guys hey guys please share this video i believe one or two people you know will check this out and learn something from me yeah thousands of you know people out there do not really know about this i believe they will learn one or two things from me it's, yes so guys i'll come to the end of my reaction please tell me what you feel about this video in the comment section below do as like subscribe share as many as you can turn on your notification bell to get notified whenever i post a new video i love you guys always bye